Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. Howdy, cowpokes, or should I say viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, slogging on with some Red Dead Redemption 2 videos. Um, this is the point where I had accidentally stolen a horse, got shot, got revived, and that was in the A Quiet Time video. Now, Arthur is off to rescue Micah from a prison jail in another town. And I'm actually, along the way, running into some interesting NPC random events. So I'm going to fast forward um, through certain points until I get to the more interesting events that happen along the way. Not too far along the journey, I run into this event where some guy is in a gun battle with some other guys, and I decide to switch to the... Uh, nope, I don't want to use the pistol. I want to use the rifle, which is more powerful and toggle on the scope, check things out. He's fighting against guys over there. I think I'm gonna help him out here. Well, now you helped out that guy, and he's happy. These guys were trying to screw him over for protection money. Uh, like I've said before in Assassin's Creed Black Flag, uh, always loot. Because you get some good stuff from these guys. And, well, the guy's happy. You help them out. You're a good dude. And loot them. See what they got. And I'm going to check the satchel, but I'm going to fast forward through to the next event that happens while I'm on the journey to rescue Micah from jail. The next event looks like a stagecoach robbery of some sort, or these guys are doing something. But I'm just going to try and ride past them, and they start shooting me, and this sucks, and oh, dead. Well, at least I'm going to start, hopefully, from the area where I died. Yes, heavenly stuff here. Yeah, Red Dead, one of the things I'll say is they don't start you too far. Cost me three bucks. That sucks. Yeah, I'm in the area where the death happened. Gonna check the map here. The waypoint for Micah is here. And I'm gonna try and get back on the road again to rescue Micah. Like I said, oh, I got a bounty of $25. Well, I'm gonna try and um, fast forward to next interesting event. Okay, now this is happening. Looks like this guy is running off. He's got a woman strapped to the back of his horse. He's obviously kidnapping her. I'm going to try and pursue and bump him off and fall off my horse. But he keeps going. 
Um, yeah, it's the revolver, and I'm gonna take this guy down. I'm gonna shoot him, and hopefully find out why the woman has been kidnapped. Shot the guy, the horse runs off, but it doesn't go off too far. It sticks around, and I'm going to loot this guy and see what he has. Yeah, he's got some cash and a ring. Now I'm going to see what it is with this woman and what's going on. Off this goddamn horse. Please cut me free. Oh, oh, thank the Lord you showed up when you did. All oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. Mind yourself. Well, that was another good deed for the day. Uh, obviously, the guy was kidnapping the woman, and either she was his former wife, or he was psychotic and going to make her his wife. Yeah. This is one of the things Red Dead Redemption 2 was given high accolades for were these random encounters, which I find interesting. You can do them or not do them. So far, I've done them, and it's made the game a little more interesting. Oh, well, there's some hunting there that I just passed up. I'm going to fast forward to the next wonderful event. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head for it. We're still getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? I mean, <laughs> look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine, I'm starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go into town, not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Appreciate it. That should help keep us going. Well, you know, when you help people out, you never know when that's going to come back to help you out. In fact, in another video I'm going to do in the future, I'm going to show that, well, a guy I helped out along the way does help out Arthur. And, you know, a little goodwill goes a long way. There's some critters running along that I could hunt. But I'm going to fast forward to the next event. Okay, now there's this stranger guy. He needs help. He's out in the woods. 
and you want to find out why, though I don't trust him because last time I helped a stranger, they tried to kick me off my horse. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I ho hop up there on the, on the back with you? Your legs work, don't they? <sighs> well, yes, I suppose. It's just a little... Eating. What are you doing out here, anyway? It clearly ain't your natural habitat, though. Uh, no, I'm just visiting. I, I, I'm from New York City, actually. You don't say. Oh, yes. There was some talk at the country club about this burgeoning little resort town called Strawberry. So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. If you do this, the conversation's kind of interesting, but the walk back to Valentine is... A long one, so I'm going to fast forward through and get to Valentine to where I can rescue Micah. Oh, are we close to town? You've rescued me from the depth! You seem quite the resourceful sort, sir. If for some reason you plan to spend any time in Strawberry, you may want to look into that gabbing mayor. Something is definitely off with him. So there's some implication that there's something not quite right with the mayor of Strawberry. And, well... I'm going to have Arthur ride on and uh, rescue Micah from jail. It's pretty interesting. A good gunfight, and Micah is a nutcase. Hello, sir. I've, uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang. It's Tom O'Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mick, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Well, a quick walk around the jail, and eventually you will find and locate Micah, which he's somewhere around. Ooh, a rain barrel. Anyway, he's not here, and I'm guessing he's going to be on the back or the opposite side of the jail here. So, Arthur's going to walk around here, and you can hear Micah talking. Well, he, here he is. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. 
Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good forcing. Now you gotta find a way to free Micah. Hey, there's that steam machine there with, uh, yeah, hey, let's use this. This should work out real well. Pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Well, now you gotta fight your way out and protect Micah. Uh, I'm using the rifle. He's just shooting at people with guns. And sheriffs are coming. He's running around. And I'm gonna turn off the scope and try and shoot people close up. Yeah. This is not gonna work out real well. I'm gonna run around and find somewhere where I can shoot and not get shot up. There's these guys. And I'm going to run up over here and, well, let's get the gun battle going. And, oh, that guy's dead. And continue on with this whole battle. Yeah, instead of staying undercover and keeping firing, uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to flip back to the ri the rifle and instead of the shotgun and or pistol. And these guys, they're going to keep coming. And for some reason, Micah is intent on going somewhere. So I'm going to stay in cover and hopefully not die again. Give me 
Like I ignored it. You always was a letdown, you fat sack of crap. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. something of mine. My guns. I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. After that wonderful gun battle, now it's time to get out of town and move fast. You're going to be pursued by the lawmen, wanted dead or alive. You just shoot the lawmen and, well, you can't get any worse. It's kind of interesting. You're saving Micah, who is certifiably insane, I'm guessing. Well, yeah, the guy is a crazy-ass bastard. And you got to keep shooting the bad guys and getting out of town quickly. The rifle helps, but I think pistols would be better here. And, well, they just won't give up. is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely. I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Someone I think we finally lost them. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp around back of Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a... Peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Okay, that was somewhat exciting. And the actual journey to rescue Micah and the mission is called Blessed Are the Meek, by the way. Um, well, I'm kind of warming up to Red Dead Redemption 2. Still a little irksome in the time it takes to go from place to place. But I digress. Um, it's not a bad video game. Maybe I will go here um, or go back. Anyway, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, 
hit the like button. If you like this type of video, I do four videos a week based on video games, sometimes not. But the only way to find out for sure is to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon, and you will be informed of when I post a video. I'm hoping to hit 100 subscribers. I thank all those who are subscribing right now. Feel free to leave some comments. I do my best to um, reply to those comments. And as always, thanks for stopping by.